us to write your forecast. We do have some warmer temperatures on the way here for the next couple of days. We saw a little bit of a preview of that today. Temperatures reaching close to 50 in some areas. We are looking at a couple of showers, though, that have tried to sneak into the area from Pennsylvania here over the past uh, several hours. You can see just across the border there, across parts of southern Pennsylvania through Adams and over towards York County, PA. Uh, those are mainly moving in an easterly direction. A few of them look like they've tried to sneak over an extreme northern sections of Baltimore County here. Well, but for the most part, these are going to stay just across the border. We're also looking at some more rain moving into Garrett County, and they've been dealing with a little bit of light rain here over the past couple of hours. The rest of the area, though, should remain dry here for tonight as we're expecting temperatures overnight tonight to only fall into the low to mid 40s for most locations. So the cloud cover and winds out of the south keeping temperatures warmer. You see down towards Pax River NAS looking at temperatures into the low 50s there through southern Maryland and into the lower eastern shore. Some upper 40s and lower 50s. Uh, only spot that's really chilly right now is out towards Cumberland at 38 degrees. Forecast again through tomorrow. Expecting 40s in the morning and then upper 50s to around 60 here during the afternoon under a mixture of cloud and sunshine. I think that tomorrow is probably going to be the best day of the week as far as sunshine and warmer temperatures. Front's going to push through the area during the morning hours. That will clear out the clouds. So tomorrow afternoon not looking bad at all. Now as we head into your Thursday, that's going to change. We're expecting clouds to start rolling back in and the winds are going to pick up too and that's going to help pump even warmer temperatures into the region. Thursday afternoon's highs will reach the lower 60s for many locations. It'll be gusty throughout the afternoon as far as the winds concerned out of the south and there will be a chance for some late day showers. Very small opportunities for rain, but we will have them in place here for the next couple of days all the way through the end of the week. Tomorrow's timeline again if you're starting off in the morning, we're looking at mid to upper 40s and then by afternoon high temperatures reaching the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. First alert 7 a forecast. Notice that we're at 62 coming up on Thursday, 60 on Friday with a mostly cloudy sky and a chance for a few showers around. And as we end of the weekend, we still have some opportunities for rain around. We're going to keep an eye on this weekend. They'll put a pin on this. There are some indications we could see a system there that may may try to drop a couple of snowflakes across our area. We're going to keep you updated on that. Right now it's kind of flip-flopping back and forth, but we're back into the mid-50s here just in time for Valentine's Day. So we'll, we'll keep you updated on this system. For the How weekend. dare they? Just a couple. Though. We can handle a couple. That's yeah, a couple. Right. Yeah, it's not going to be a All big right. deal, but you may see a couple of flakes flying. So right. We'll keep you Thank updated. Thank you, Derek. Yeah. Well, for more first alert weather and updated news, check out with Cena Gabra Abbs, Stefan Dingle, and Meg McNamara tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 430.